This will show you how to get started quickly with Gratil on iOS using an OBD Link MX Plus and iPad. Any other iOS device will work, such as an iPhone. First step is to install Gratil from the App Store. If you download for the first time, you will have to use your PIN or password. While we're doing that, you will need an OBD Link MX Plus. You can find these on Amazon or Scan Tools website. <coughs> then go ahead and plug in your OBD2 device into the OBD2 port of a Global A GM vehicle. The light should be flashing rapidly, the blue light. If it is not, go ahead and push the button on the device until it does. Find the Bluetooth setting in the settings menu. And then find the OBD Link device here. Simply tap it. Wait a couple seconds. If it asks for pairing, just go ahead and tap OK. In this case, it did not. Next, you want to make sure that the device says connected. Now, we'll open the Gratio app, which we just downloaded. With the adapter saying connected, simply tap connect on the bottom here. It will say connecting to adapter. It will search for the modules on the vehicle, and then it will perform a scan. If this is the first time you use the app, the scan may take several minutes. Otherwise, it will take only a couple seconds. Once the scan is complete, the message on the bottom will disappear. If an error occurs, you will get a prompt here. Um, a common error would be if you have the ignition off or if you try to use an unsupported vehicle. In those cases, the app will refuse to connect. Another issue is if you have the key off you may only find one module. Now that we're connected, you can find all the modules on the vehicle in the modules menu. On an iPhone, the screen looks slightly different. To view PIDs, which is simply data from the vehicle, you can create a dashboard here. You can choose a name for the dashboard, which we'll just call engine data. Tap to select it, and then tap the edit button here, and add some PIDs. You can add PIDs from any module you want, which is supported by your vehicle. So in this case, let's add engine speed. Since the vehicle is off, the engine speed is zero. To execute controls, in the modules menu, you'll have a list of your modules. You can simply select which one you want. You'll be given a list of options for it. So if you want to view some DTCs, you can. There are no DTCs in this case, but there are some pending DTCs here. If you want some information about the module, such as part number information, the odometer, VIN, as well as CBN history, you can find that here. And finally, if you want to do controls, you can do that here as well. So we're just gonna do a simple ECM control because those are safe for demonstrations. We will use a high beam relay control. You'll get this confirmation screen. Go ahead and tap execute and go. As you can see, the control has functioned. Many times these controls will have a default option, which simply means you're releasing the control and restoring control to the vehicle. For advanced options, 
such as using the SW CAN bus, you will do that in the more menu under OBD2 settings. If you want to change your units from metric to US Imperial, you can do that here. This will simply change the default units. So any PIDs that you already have will need to be changed. You can also edit the PID update rate. I recommend you keep this on moderate. Um, high speed tends to be a little unstable in iOS at this time. If you want to use the low speed CAN bus, you can tap that here. This means next time Gritio connects, it'll try to use the low speed CAN bus. So just for demonstrations, we'll do that quick. It's going to search for modules again, but this time on the SW CAN. It will need to do a scan again. And we can now see the SW CAN modules. The SW CAN is useful because it is where the IRS DM lives. This is the airbag module. You will also have the HVAC module here, which is useful for programming after blow. So if you want to disable that, we can. It's already enabled on this one. And we can enable it. Just remember that these controls can be dangerous. You should you always use them in accordance with the service manual. And you should never use them while driving. Hopefully this helps you get started with your Thanks for watching.